This new exhibition is called Elements, and most of the paintings take the area around where I live and work in West Cornwall as a starting point. Often when I begin a series, I don't have really specific ideas about how the work is going to look, so it's really important that I totally immerse myself in the subject matter and get to know it really well. So I'll spend hours walking around the coast and getting to know landscapes, uh, observing it in different weather conditions and different lights until I feel it's sort of in my bones. And the next stage of the process is to go into the studio and start working usually in small paintings on paper. And these give me a great sense of freedom and allow me to push around new ideas. So new forms may, may appear or new colour combinations. And little by little, um, the, the most vital thing is getting these sensations of being outdoors and observing these dramatic events in nature, getting them down onto paper. Uh, and it often takes me some time to be able to do that. My, my mind needs to sort of process the information until I can sort of claim it and make it my own. But at that moment, when I'm in the studio, faced with a white canvas or a white piece of paper, it's important to feel as open as possible and not have too many preconceived ideas, because I often find that sort of subconscious information that comes through is a lot to do with what is distilling the information that informs and drives the new paintings forward. Most of the paintings in this exhibition, Elements, um, are based on the landscape and coast around my home in West Cornwall. Last year, in some of the paintings, I started noticing new structures appearing in the work. They were quite precise and had very defined edges, and they changed the character of the, the paintings quite drastically. I wanted to experiment and, and develop this theme a little bit further. So these new pictorial elements became quite an important theme throughout the work. I think the fact that these structures are almost becoming anchor points allowed me to be much freer elsewhere in the painting. So some of the areas might represent a harbour wall or even a window frame. So against that, I want to, to try and create this very airy feel, which is adding to the feeling of landscape and being outdoors. One of the larger canvases is called Frontier, and um, it, it depicts a, a wide open landscape, or almost more moorland, but it has this sort of weather front passing through it. So the actual handling of the paint is quite dramatic, but this is held in place by these four quite formal squares in each corner. And they're quite subtle, um, they don't overpower the piece, but they make the viewer more aware of the surface of the painting, and also help to create an illusion of depth, so that you feel that you're actually disappearing towards the horizon, but being slightly held in place by these structures, these forms, these new elements that are appearing within the work. There are also other softer uh, landscapes that have come through, um, which are more based on the area directly around my studio. The, the drive that goes from the house down to the studio is lined by mature trees, and every morning when I walk down to work, uh, the sun is coming up through the trees. Often th there's mist around, but it's something that I see most days and leaves quite a, a sort of strong impression that stays with me. So when I begin to paint, it's one of those things that automatically starts appearing. Other paintings in the series, um, in this Woodland series, uh, were influenced by uh, the colours of autumn as well. So when the leaves change, these amazing oranges and yellows uh, come into the equation and, and sort of transform the subject once again. And in most cases, I'm really interested in pushing this as far as I possibly can, so that in a way there's very little information that you can latch onto. It's mostly about light and a few forms just trapping the eye and pinning it down. And then it allows you as the viewer to bring your own thoughts and memories to the whole process too. One of the paintings, Enigma, um, at first sight is slightly reminiscent of some of the cityscapes I've been producing over the last few years. 
it's just these sort of towering black lines um, with various lights at the bottom. But in fact, rather than being based on a cityscape, this was part of the tree series. So it's actually representing a, a line of trees viewed against the rising sun. And as the sun breaks through, it, it almost dissolves the, 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 the trunks of the trees and the branches and um, provides this very sort of abstract surface, which really appealed to me. And there's quite a, an ethereal quality ab about it. But once again, these square forms creep into the, the lower edge of the painting and they, they help to create this effect of mist, but they also really anchor the, the bottom part of the landscape down to the sides of the, the canvas. In some of the canvases, like High Force, the structures aren't quite so apparent. Um, and I think these were probably the aftermath of much more formal paintings. Um, and I wanted to just paint something that was totally free. And High Force depicts uh, a raging storm at sea. And the whole of the picture plane is taken up by these very extravagant brush marks where the paint is really sort of pushed around. And there's a lot of energy. And it's just held in place um, at the horizon uh, where, where these storm clouds are, uh, are visible crossing, the, cross, crossing in the distance um, and creating more depth. I think in this show um, the work has moved on in respect of the way the canvases are structured and I think there's a new freedom, a new airiness to most of the work as well, which um, I hope describes the thrill of being outdoors, particularly walking the coast or experiencing elemental forces and dramatic weather. <laughs>